Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about a Dyson V11 brush bar not spinning. I'll be going over how to fix it in this easy peasy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. That's right, I just said that. Easy peasy tutorial. That's what this is. It's so simple. Now obviously this is a brand new brush bar. I just recently got my Dyson V11, but I have had this problem with other vacuums. Not a problem, but it's just part of maintenance, right? The brush bar stops spinning and the process for fixing this is the same as the other ones. Really, really easy. So usually when your brush bar just stops spinning, Usually, like if it, if it starts slowing down, spinning slower, more slowly, more slowly, and then it stops, usually it's because there's lots of dirt and debris caught in here. Specifically hair. Now, I don't have this problem, okay? I don't have this problem at all, but I live with my wife and my four kids, so we do have hair all around the house. It just happens, okay? It's part of it. So what you wanna do is usually just pull out the hair or the dirt and debris, especially if you have pets, this happens too, and they shed. Pull up the hair, the dust, the dirt, debris, and then it should start spinning again. So most of the time, it's as simple as that. But then, you know, if you do that over the course of a few months or even a few years, eventually there's gonna be a, you know, enough buildup in there that you can't just pull it out. So then what you gotta do, you don't have to do this every single time, but once every while, you wanna remove the brush bar. Now, if you look over here, on the side of the brush bar, there's a little notch there. Okay, I don't recommend using a screwdriver because it's a really wide notch. I recommend using a coin, okay? I'm Canadian, so we have our toonie over here, okay? Uh, born and raised Canadian. Most of you know that anyways, if you've been following this channel for a while. But I'm gonna use my toonie, which is the perfect size, might I add, okay? Um, and I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise, just like that. So by turning it counterclockwise, it just popped out of place, okay? Then what you can do is pull the brush bar out, so you can see right here. Pull the brush bar out. You can go remove all the stuff from it. It's gonna probably be pretty gross. Just get rid of it, no problem. Then you can put your brush bar back in. So load it back in place. And then what you wanna do is you want to um, push, turn this clockwise to put it back in. So then you're gonna turn it clockwise. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise and you're gonna see it just lock in place right there, just like that. So hopefully that works. If that doesn't work, the other thing that can happen is you might have a blockage because the brush bar operates through like airflow. <coughs> Sorry about that. The brush bar operates through airflow. I just had some almonds and I got like, they're caught right here. Should have had a big glass of water after having the almonds. I'm gonna do that after this video. So my next videos don't involve me coughing like that. Anyways, um, essentially, you know, you might have a blockage in here, okay? You can look through here shine a flashlight, do some air testing to see if that's where your blockage is. You also might have a blockage, okay, in your tube, if you were using the extension tube, that's where your blockage might be. So you can go ahead and just look at it like that. Woo, right there, you can, like the good thing about this tube is you can just look right through it, see if there's a blockage there. Or you might have a blockage somewhere within the suction area, okay, or, or, or the filter area. Your filter might just be too jam-packed, right? So, you know, your canister might be too full as well. You wanna look into it and see what could the problem be. But essentially, it's either gonna be dirt or debris caught in the brush bar, in which you can pull it out or remove the whole brush bar and clean it off, or it's gonna be some sort of air blockage somewhere along the line. So just kinda of use your judgment, do your research, and just, you gotta sort of problem solve your way down. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.